Hi besties and welcome to a new video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Destiny. And if you're returning, hey bestie, I missed you. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, hi again, I'm Destiny. I am a 24 year old living in Las Vegas, Nevada, just trying to figure out life and sharing pieces of my life with you guys on the internet. I'm so happy that you're here. Jumping right into it, as you can see from the title of this video, we are going to be doing my July 2024 reset video. It's crazy to say, but we are halfway through the year, you guys. <laughs> and what a year it has been. What a six months it has been. I just wanna say that the remainder of this year will be up for us it's gonna be so good and now is the time for us to really sit down set goals refresh and put ourselves in the space to have a great rest of the year and i am excited to sit down and do that with you guys today i do just want to share some quick life updates with you guys because i'm not sure within my last videos if you keep up with me what you guys know I'm now a certified community health worker for the state of Nevada. I finished my education for that, so now I have my bachelor's degree in public health and now my certification to be a community health worker in the state of Nevada, which just puts me in a better position and gives me more knowledge to do the work that I love of helping my communities. The second big big update that i have for you guys is that i got a new job i signed my offer letter and i am no longer unemployed well technically <laughs> i'm filming this on july 3rd and i start on july 15th but the offer letter has been signed and i am employed and i'm so excited to get started with this new opportunity this new job is still within my field of working with housing and homeless prevention and i'm just i'm very excited that i was able to find something within my field that i love and have worked hard to really gain a presence in but as well as doing so with a company that will allow me to grow and with that i just want to share i don't want to share too much but i am going from working non-profit to working in a big top 10 company i don't want to say exactly which company um but that it's just a huge leap for me and just a reminder that everything with my previous employer and previous experiences were needed to get me to where I am today and to have the opportunities that I now have today and yeah I just wanted to share with you guys and I'm very excited and you guys will be coming with me onto the journey of starting a new job. I know that I was pretty down in my last few videos about um, leaving my previous employer and just not knowing what was next for me and I know that that's something that a lot of us are experiencing and I just want to let you know that it will be okay everything is within God's timing so if you do the work that you need to do he will bless you with everything else and yeah I'm just really excited and I couldn't wait to share that with you guys I think those are the only big updates that I have for you guys we all know that <laughs> these sit down videos that i do are really chatty so i'm just gonna hop right into recapping the month of june disclaimer that i give you guys every single month when i look over here my ipad is over here with all my notes and everything that i want to say so that this video isn't five hours of me talking about nothing so <laughs> The first goal that I had for the month of June was to secure a new job, which I did. And I'm so proud of myself and so happy and so excited and so grateful. And I just, I can't wait to start and get the ball rolling with everything. The second goal that I had for myself for the month of June was to secure like a side job, extra income, side hustle kind of thing. And I did do this, but... It ended up not working out um, super quick story time I was hired 
to do the social media and marketing for the business that I take my dog Chachi to get groomed at. It's a small business. Um, I was so excited. I like came up with a posting plan and like post ideas, all the things. And I got um, a text like asking if I can come in and just do some things around the shop because she was shorthanded and she knew that I hadn't started my new job yet. And I was like, of course, anything that I can do to help you, love a small business, love you. You guys have always treated my dog well. I'll, of course, I'll come. So I go in that morning and let's just leave it at the owner was inebriated and her groomer quit and animal control ended up having to be called because we were scared that in the state that she was in that she was going to try to groom the dogs that she had within her possession so it didn't it didn't end well and I will not be moving forward with that opportunity but um, we will find something else and <laughs> Chachi now has a new groomer so that happened but anyways kind of a yes kind of a no we'll work on it next goal that I had set for myself was to reevaluate my annual goals since we are obviously midway through the year and you guys are actually going to get a dedicated video for this the next video you guys see after this one is going to be my mid-year reset video where I go over the goals that I had set for myself in at the beginning of the year, um, adding some, removing some, redoing my vision board because I feel like my vision for myself for this year has definitely changed as well and just all the reset things <laughs> so i hope that you are excited for that that again is going to be the next video that you see so i haven't done that yet but i'm going to work on that video and all the things that come with that once i'm done with this one the next goal i had was to outline my financial journey realistically um this is also going to be included in that mid-year reset video so movement yes eating well kind of <laughs> Increase my prayer and Bible reading this one is a big yes I have been attending church every week I have been really taking the time and making the effort to grow my relationship with God and I'm so blessed and so grateful and I feel that this is exactly what I needed and I don't know i just couldn't be more happy i couldn't be in a better place and yes this this one was a big yes for me i was on youtube every monday no i didn't i was in a bit of a slump okay regarding all the job stuff and like life changes so i wasn't consistent like i wanted to be but again we're midway through the year we're gonna step it up i promise getting comfortable with creating short form content and like filming and taking pictures outside. I did not make any effort to do this, but I will try. I had a goal to get to 200 subscribers on YouTube, which I did not get to, but I now have 100 of you besties subscribe to me here on YouTube and I'm so grateful. I would rather have slow growth with a close community than like rapid thousands and thousands of subscribers who don't know anything about me or don't talk to each other in the comments so i'm just i'm beyond grateful for all of you and i love you so much and thank you for caring about me and watching me as i share my life with you guys and I always as I always say I hope that you guys can relate and I hope that this is interesting and if there's anything that you want to see or anything that you don't want to see literally just let me know feel free to add me on my other platforms not for the numbers but just so that we can we can be friends and we can talk to get to each other and grow together and all the things so yes thank you for 100 subscribers here on YouTube I'm so grateful and i love you i was wanting to get to 300 followers on tiktok which i did not do but i wasn't really posting over there i'm right now at 123 followers and on instagram i was really hoping to hit 1k but i'm still stuck in the 930 
area and I've been stuck there for months and I don't know what to do but also I haven't been really posting so I kind of do know what I need to do. Brainstorm content ideas I did not really do and then plan for my podcast relaunch I also didn't really do. So my goals for the month of June. June for me it wasn't my best month <laughs> but I don't know. I feel like I needed that time to just lean on God honestly and focus on getting myself into a good position for July, August, the rest of the year. So I'm sorry that I wasn't consistent and that I didn't really put in a lot of effort with like content and social media, but the rest of this year it's it's for you and I'm I'm very excited for it. So with that being said, let's get into the goals that I'm setting for the month of July 2024. Goal number one, secure a side hustle or extra income. One that's not questionable would be good. <laughs> I'm open, open and willing to do many, many things just because I really want to get ahead on my financial goals. Next goal that I'm setting for myself is just to remember to find time for movement with a new busy schedule especially if i do end up having two jobs i just want to make sure that i'm still finding time for fitness and movement because fitness and movement has been such a joy for me and i don't want to lose that momentum i don't want to lose that feeling so with that another goal that i have is being mindful about my eating even though i will be more busy this month i don't want to start leaning on like junk food or super unhealthy foods i'm not the best eater you guys if you watch my vlogs my diet is questionable <laughs> but i feel like i just want to make sure i'm on track so that um the foods that i eat are matching the movement that i do to keep myself in a place where i'm comfortable and happy within my body one moment my dad's calling are you sitting down yeah. Uh, Dad, she is drunk. Oh. Dad, the groomer packed her stuff up and quit. Oh, <laughs> so the the groomer called um, animal control to get the dogs that were in there since we were not in there. Oh, no. Yeah. So that happened. I'm sorry if the lighting or like position of the camera has changed i was on the phone with my dad for like two hours the next goal that i have for myself for this month is to complete the 31 days in proverbs challenge it's not really like a challenge to me but basically the book of proverbs has 31 chapters so for each day of the month since july has 31 days i'll read one chapter of proverbs my pastor mentioned that the book of proverbs is just a really good book for someone who's entering into reading the bible just because there's a different lesson in each chapter um today today is july 3rd so i'm three chapters in i'm loving it so far and i want to keep this going and finish all 31 days the next goal that i have for myself is to complete my prayer journal prompts daily that has been a tongue twister for me i got this prayer journal from amazon so cute i'll link it down below in the morning you do a prayer request and then you list out three things that you want to give look give god thanks for and then you kind of just write out some goals that you have for the day to make the day great and then every day there's a bible bible related affirmation so for example one is lord lead me away from people that can shipwreck me which is jude chapter 1 verses 12 through 13 and then at the end of the day you just note three good things that happened today and then what will i do to make tomorrow a better day and i like having these as my morning and evening prayer so the first chunk i make a prayer request to God, let him know three things that I thank him for, and then my plan for the day and just have him bless that for me. And then at night, 
I thank him for three blessings that happened to me within the day and then my hopes for tomorrow and I've been really loving this it helps me to write down what I am wanting to say in my prayers and not that I should need a reminder but a reminder morning evening to say my prayers and just kind of help me draft them when I'm not sure exactly what I want to say or what exactly is on my heart on to the content side of things because I'm gonna be on my stuff if you haven't subscribed and you're into my vibe and you want to see more of me make sure you like comment subscribe follow me over on Instagram and TikTok and Goodreads everywhere you want to find me is at Andrea Destiny O-N-D-R-E-A D-E-S-T-I-N-Y follow me DM me let's be friends let's build this community up and yeah post on youtube every week that speaks for itself as long as you get a video a week i'll be proud of that because i haven't even accomplished that yet 300 tiktok followers just post on there just post just post girl 1000 instagram followers we're gonna get out of the 930 jail to 200 subscribers on youtube post short form content one to two times per week and my plan for this you guys is when i post a video on youtube to have a short form video that is like associated with that and works as kind of a promo to get people over here to the channel and then just one extra little short form cute little thing per week just to kind of show some personality and yeah, so that's my plan. Next, I'm wanting to plan for the podcast to relaunch. I've been hesitant. I've been waiting. And I think I just need to get into it and do it. So that's the only way it's going to get done is to get into it and do it. New endeavor that I'm wanting to get into. I am wanting to start a book club, you guys. I want to start a book club really bad. I've realized that the local book clubs to me they just are not very diverse and they're not very interactive so i'm wanting to start like a small like book community here and i do want to meet in person and like i want to have a new book that we read every month and then we meet in person like i can host at my house or like we can go to cafes and like coffee shops and just talk about the book what we thought ask each other questions get to know each other and just build friendships and community so if you're watching this and you live in vegas and you would want to be a part of a book club let me know but so one of my goals for the month is to really brainstorm how i would like put it together what it would be like all the things and yeah those are my goals <laughs> for the month of july i feel like i'm in a space that i'm really happy and really excited so i've been like mm, spitfiring everything that's why i'm just so excited next i want to get into books my favorite part of these videos book time i only finished one book and it was minx by sophie lark this book she was spicy but also had like cute story 3.5 stars it wasn't like my most favorite book that i've ever read in my whole life but she was good and i would let like i'd be like oh yeah borrow this it wouldn't be a waste of your time to read it ramsey's is like finance bro super hot billionaire big money and blake is an escort into big money men and she is like rock solid won't fall in love she's had a problem because she fell in love with someone one of her clients before and then she starts working for ramsey's and she likes him and it's a whole thing and that's the book and it was good i liked it it was different a different kind of story than 
usual. I'll have like <laughs> a better, more thought out review on my Goodreads, which I will link down below, as well as on my short form platform. So like Instagram and TikTok. But yeah, this is the only book that I finished and that's fine. As for my TBR, my TBR is basically the same as last month because I really didn't get much reading done. I'm filming a reading romances with black main characters video so that basically is why I'm reading these books. Um, I'm not gonna read the descriptions because again, I read them in my last reset video so I'll have that link down below but I'll probably put like the descriptions of the books up here if you want to pause and read them. But the first book, I'm like a third of the way into this one, is The Proposal by Jasmine Gilroy. Um, I'm really liking it so far. It's, she's cute. She's good. <laughs> so I have Unrealistic Expectations by Andy J. Christopher. Lastly, I have The Right Swipe by Alicia Ray. Again, pause if you wanted to see the descriptions. I'm not going to read them this time because I read them in last month's reset but that is my very short book section for this reset lastly let's talk about favorites i already talked about this one but this prayer and gratitude journal is like so good go get it again it's linked down below I just I feel like this has really been helping me in my journey with like building my relationship with God and prayer and worshiping and all the things as well as kind of keeping myself on track like when I wake up of what are three things I want to get done today just to get my brain going I hope that makes sense but yeah I've been loving this and I think you'd love it too so link down below only other favorite that I have right now is a show the bear on hulu please okay first of all i was a sh i'm a shameless girl like i will watch shameless over and over and over so jeremy allen white having a show that's not years old count me in and i don't know what took me so long to watch it like i knew it was good because everyone would talk about it and I knew he was in it, so I knew I'd be automatically interested. But I think it's because the new season just came out. So literally a few days ago, and let me say this again. A few days ago, I started watching The Bear. Season 3 just came out. Why am I in the middle of season 3 right now? I'm almost done, and it's so good. It's literally about <laughs> Carmi is Jeremy is Carmi. <laughs> and he is like chef went to new york went to all these places worked for all these extravagant ki kitchens maintained three star restaurants um his brother dies his brother had a not so three star restaurant a sandwich shop <laughs> and carmen takes it over and is trying to rebuild it but is also dealing with like trauma from his chef career and trauma from his family and like working with family and like building relationships and building the restaurant and it's just so good please go watch the bear on hulu i'm probably going to finish it within the next couple days and i'm going to be so sad because i'm not going to know what to watch after so if you have any show recommendations i only have hulu right now i don't have netflix at the moment but if you have anything on hulu tubi amazon shows or movies that you recommend for the weekend let me know down below but that is it for this july reset i feel like this one was very i feel like this one was more light-hearted so I'm, I'm just excited i'm excited i have no fears i have no sadness i'm just ready to get the ball rolling on this month because i just i just know it's gonna be such a good month for me and it's going to be such a good month for you guys, too. Again, let me know down below what some of your goals for the month of July are. Because, again, we're mid-year, mid-year refresh, mid-year restart. This is going to be your month. This is going to be your half of the year, baby. You and me. If you sat through my yapping, I love you. Thank you. Again, keep up with me elsewhere. Instagram here on YouTube, 
TikTok, Goodreads. Keep up with me, chat with me. I'm here for you, you're here for me. Thank you so much for watching and I will be back next week with another video for you which is going to be my mid-year reset which I'm also very excited to do. I hope you're excited to watch it. So I love you so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for loving me. Love you. Smooches.